thanks for coming to my channel. This is Midnight Moon Tarot and I'm Diana. This reading is for the astrological sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, or anywhere in your birth chart that Cancer might appear. Also, if you're new to my channel, I'd like to take just a second and invite you to subscribe and click that little bell so that you're sure to be notified whenever I upload new content. Also, in the description box below, you'll find links to my social media, my Patreon, my PayPal, and links to some really cool things on Amazon. I think you guys will like. Okay, so this reading is for mid-May 2020, keeping in mind that all tarot readings are timeless. So whether you come across this right after I upload, a week, month, or even a year from now, if you feel drawn to watch it, most likely you will find a message for you within the reading. And if it doesn't completely resonate with you, keep the parts that do and disregard the rest. And remember, this is just a generalized reading. If you know your other planet placements like those I mentioned at the beginning of this video intro, then you can listen to those signs as well for additional messages. Okay, so with that being said, let's go ahead and calibrate these cards to the astrological sign of Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. And ask our angels, guides, and ancestors Sorry, the cards are just not shuffling. And ask our angels, guides, <clears throat> ancestors for any love messages for cancer for mid-May 2020. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, you know, I do a pre-shuffle um, before I come to do each sign and um, you know when I was doing yours I just felt a lot of blankness uh, like maybe you have a lot of uh, protective walls up around you right now I don't know if that's the case I don't know if you are feeling sort of um, withdrawn or uh, disappointed or sad. I don't really know what's going on, but we're going to do this reading here. Let's see what messages we have for you. Okay, last time. Now I'm going to divide these into three stacks, okay? Okay, one, two, three. All right, the card on the bottom of the deck is the world, okay? It was in reverse. I don't read reversals. Uh, that's more of a modern thing that's been going on the last few decades. Um, I read a more traditional the way it was when uh, tarot first came about. Okay, <clears throat> There's lots of meanings for these cards without reading reversals, uh, which I don't believe is ever intended <laughs> to be done. Okay. All right. So the world talks about... Uh, you know, you have these four elements coming in. You have this woman enjoying everything that is around her, everything that's coming to her. Uh, you know, it's like the whole world's opening up to her. The world's her oyster, this sort of thing. Uh, it's almost like a lot of really good luck and things that are happening and coming your way from all directions at this time. So that's actually kind of awesome. Now, for those of you who are new here, I do four columns. The first column pertains to you, uh, what you may have recently been dealing with, things that you're currently dealing with, and things, opportunities, and options, people, whatever, that are coming towards you. Uh, the second is, <clears throat> I'm sorry, about the sneeze. The second column is the same thing, only it's for your beloved, your intended, twin flame, soulmate, karmic partner, um, somebody that you might have just met. This could be an ex that you really still feel those super strong soul ties with and want to reconcile with. But basically, it's the person that you want to um, be with forever, the one that you are thinking of first when you wake up in the morning and the last person you're thinking of when you go to sleep at night. The third column is about obstacles, blockages, challenges, fears, anxieties, that type thing. And the last column 
is outcome. Now I've just laid two cards in each row. That's eight cards. I'm going to do this two more times for a grand total of 24 cards. So by the time we get to the end of the reading, we have a pretty good idea about what's going on. Okay, so you have this King of Pentacles. You have someone that you've been dealing with that's possibly an earth sign. Okay, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, somebody that you've been you know, feeling that you saw basically as uh, your king of pentacles, somebody that you felt offered you that security and that stability that maybe you were uh, not enjoying without this person. And at the same time, <clears throat> you're having to make some really hard decisions. You're having to decide if this is where you want to be. You're having to take the good with the bad the absent with the present. You're having to decide if this is exactly what you want in your life. Okay? So it's you, you're having to take some, you know, really, really uh, think about these things, meditate, pray, whatever it is that you do to come to your decisions, you're having to decide that. And this person represents this devil. This is somebody that uh, could have some type of um, issues with them, whether it's codependent, uh, toxic relationship, whether it is um, feeling like, uh, you know, you're having to deal with their alcohol, drug abuse, uh, emotional abuse, uh, cheating, anything to do with anything that's toxic or not healthy for you, but they see you as someone that they can reach out to, someone that will communicate with them, somebody that will, uh, you know, offer things for them for for their benefit usually is what this is about okay now you have to be careful of not being used because this type person right here will play games with you and uh, tell you the things that you want to hear in order to procure from you the things that they need in their life whether it's sex or uh, love or you know you, you're hearing all this okay I'm in the French Quarter okay guys right smack in the French Quarter around Bourbon and Dumaine, my little apartment's right around in there. And they are getting ready to reopen, and there is so much going on out here. And there's people walking around right now. I think there's some people yelling and acting up here. Uh, okay. <laughs> Crazy, but it's New Orleans. Okay. Your obstacles and challenges are the sun and this Ace of Cups. Now, this being in your blockages and challenges, this is where you had thought, you know, uh, you, you were hoping that you would have this love enter your life. Hold on, hold on. Let me wait till they walk away from my door. Okay, they left. I hope. All right. All right. They were walking by and they just stopped for a minute right outside my door. Okay. All right. Yeah. So, you were hoping that you would have this type of love that you guys would be able to to grow and prosper and you don't feel that that might you feel like that might not happen and this love that you feel that you know is overflowing that you that you want to overflow into all areas of your life you fear that it's not going to happen okay now now when it comes to those type things, you have to be really careful not to dwell on that because you can actually manifest that coming about if you think about it too much, okay? So we have this Queen of Wands and we have Justice, okay? So this Queen of Wands, this could possibly be a third party situation. This could be somebody from your partner's past that is fire sign. We're talking about Sagittarius, Aries, Leo person that possibly is someone from your partner's past that is re-entering and you know, I don't know if it has anything to do with the legal justice system. I don't know if it has anything to do with child custody. I don't know if it has anything to do with, uh, you know, you just making that strong decision of whether you want to pursue this relationship knowing that they are still in communication with and still talking with this Leo person, Aries person, or Sagittarius person from their past, okay? All right, now the next set of four columns, we have the Two of Swords as well as the Queen of Swords. Your partner has the Two of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles. Obstacles and challenges are Six of Swords and Strength. And in your outcome, we have Star as well as the 
Ten of Wands. It's very windy here today. Can you guys hear the wind howling through my shutters? Okay. All right. So we have the Queen of Swords as well as the Two of Swords. Hold on. I apologize for that. Okay. All right. So, yeah, we have the Queen of Swords as well as the Two of Swords. And this is the time for you to look at this situation that's going on, to figure out what exactly is going on using your brain instead of dealing with your heart like cancers are prone to do. So this is the time for you, especially if you have any type Libra placements in your chart at all. Become this Queen of Swords and, you know, disconnect these people from... <laughs> this type attitude you know you have to lay down the law just a little bit you have to let this person know that if they continue this behavior that's upsetting you then you're going to discontinue the relationship this will maybe possibly trigger your person to rethink what it is that they want and they may take better better care of the relationship they may begin to uh you know envision the future with you envision the future without you uh figure out what it is that they want and that shows me that they are choosing you and they are choosing to uh, nurture and do whatever it takes and in order to uh, make this relationship work okay so we have the six of swords as well as strength hold on like I said I am so sorry I don't, I don't want to have to throw this reading out because it's really actually pretty good and kind of following up on the things that have uh, led through generally I like to record from beginning to end with no breaks but in my particular little building, it's so old, we don't have an elevator. We have like an elevator lift thing with the little iron gates and stuff like that. And they're here repairing it and apparently school's out. And so they brought their children with them and they're bouncing basketballs and playing and all that kind of junk out there. Ugh. So I'm sorry if there's a lot of noise, really, really sorry. All right. But I feel it's important to go ahead and get this out here. So your inclination is that you want to just, I forget it. It's too much to deal with. You don't want to deal. It's hurting you too much. You're feeling a lot of pain from it. And sometimes, you know, you are thinking about just... <laughs> Just ending everything and, and going away. But this is where you need to draw on that inner strength and decide how important this relationship actually is for you. If you want to weather the storm, if you want to stay, you know, your partner is telling you that they do want to do that new beginning with you and completely start over. So if you, in order to have this brand new beginning, this is your outcome. You're going to need to put down the things that have hurt you in the past. You're going to have to understand that there's give and take that uh, sometimes, uh, you know, your partner is a human being, just like you are a human being. And, you know, everybody makes mistakes and it's about forgiveness. It's about that unconditional love. If you want to be able to move forward and have this brand new beginning with your partner where the entire world in your eyes opens up to you, then that's something that you're going to need to do is to lay down those uh, accusations, lay down those uh, insecurities and, uh, you know, start your new beginning because you can't really like if you plant seeds like in this little garden here, like your partner is, and you want to keep going and digging up the seeds to see if they've sprouted, yet, <laughs> you're going to kill the plant. OK, so don't do that. You know, let, let it grow. Take, let it, you know, organically take its time and uh, grow on the level that it needs to grow. <clears throat> All right, so in your last set of cards, okay, we have the Ten of Cups as well as the Eight of Swords, okay? In your partner's column, we have Lovers and the Four of Wands. That is so nice. In your Obstacles and Challenges, we have the Three of Cups as well as the Five of Swords, okay? And in your outcome we have the seven of cups as well as the three of swords okay i'm going to pull a couple more at the end just randomly out of the deck because i don't like that so <clears throat> This is the future that you're envisioning. You're saying, okay, we've got this new beginning. We're going to we're gonna plan on this future together. But at the same time, you're scared to move forward. You're scared to uh, of being hurt again. You're scared of maybe being betrayed. You feel like, you know, this person that was supposed to be the love of your life uh, is entertaining 
options <laughs> that they have coming to them, whether they are exes from their past. <clears throat> that Queen of Wands is always, always burdensome, and it feels like that person is always going to be there as somebody that your partner is going to fall back on. You might not like it, but that's the way it is. You know, you can lay down the law and say, absolutely, do not do that. And you can always choose to walk away. But at the same time, you don't want to walk away. You want to stay right where you're at. You want this relationship to work. Okay. See how she's a toe in the water and she's testing the waters. You know, you're just going to go ahead and give this next try. You're going to go ahead and try it one more time see if it can work because your partner is feeling that the two of you are soulmates of a sort <clears throat> it's completely different from twin flames okay you are the person that your partner comes to when they need nurturing when they need healing when they need someone that is uh, empathic uh, sometimes on your part it can feel like they're draining you dry because of this. Now, we do have in the Four of Wands, the 1111, which does talk about that soulmate connection. Uh, there's in, in, in life, there are many, many soulmates. There's one twin flame, okay? And the twin flame is always going to overrule the soulmate situation. Okay, and just because this is the lovers, and it can be divinely blessed, can be a divine union, it doesn't mean that it's going to be an easy ride because you're having people come from two different types of background, two types of being raised, two types of uh, ideas on what relationships should be and shouldn't be, okay? And uh, we're each kind of formed by our past relationships when it comes to romantic ideas. And sometimes it can be difficult, but it's about understanding and caring enough to see from the other person's point of view. Now, you can't do this all on your own. Your partner has to, just like you, be able to see your point of view as well, okay? And that's why you have two on the side, two on the side, 11, 11, six great connection. You both are there to heal each other from past hurts that you've been through in relationships, okay? <clears throat> but your twin flame is out there, just like your partner's twin flame is out there. But you guys are in a place right now where you are healing for each other. You have to be... Uh, <laughs> Okay, this looks like a lot of drunk dialing right, right here, drunk texting. It's like you, you're out partying and you talk to or confront the person about, you know, these things that are bothering you and going on. Remember, these are fears and anxieties. These are blockages and challenges. So you have to view them as that way. You can disregard them and not act on them, okay, because it will end up causing it will end up causing trouble because this partner feels, you know, especially when they have that devil card, feels as if they are a little manipulative where they are um, <clears throat> the kind of person that will, you know, when you talk to them or confront them about things, they kind of turn the table and bring up things that you've done or completely change the subject about something else. So you have to, you know, really, really draw on that strength, okay? And you've got to decide whether this is really and truly what you want and if you're going to go away or you're going to stay in the relationship. Now, <laughs> you're going to find out that your partner has had many different options and this is going to break your heart when you find out that you are not the only person and this Leo person is not the only person that your partner has been entertaining, okay? It's like they have some from the past, they have you, and they're grooming new people from the future okay and this is what this type of person does you know when when they have an argument with you they still have that need so they draw on someone from the past that's reliable and you know they know that person from the past is not really going to fulfill their needs the same way that they feel like you're not and so they're constantly looking for the next person to try to to heal them or or be with them all right and that kind of really sucks because it seems like, you know, you guys could really make this work if your partner can do the healing that they need in order to get past this little stumbling block. Now, I said I was going to draw a couple of extra cards just randomly. All right, so I've got the nine of cups and I'm going to draw one more and it is 
<laughs> the four of cups. Okay, so yeah. Yeah, you have this nine of cups, but you're not fulfilled. You're not getting everything that you need. You don't have that other. And at, at times, you know, it can feel so unfulfilling that you feel as if, uh, you know, you're just bored with the whole thing and maybe you want to walk away from it. You did have this world card at the beginning, okay? And you do want this ten of cups, but your outcome is like the nine of cups. And so it's, it's, it's that four of cups shows me that that's very unfulfilling to you. So my advice would be, uh, stay, heal each other. If, if that's what you feel like you need to do. Uh, but also keep in mind that this is not the be all end all relationship of your lifetime, that your twin flame and your journey is out there. If you can make it through this lesson with this soulmate that you have, then you will progress on your journey <clears throat> one step closer to becoming divine counterparts with your twin flame. Okay, so that is your reading for mid-May 2020, and I hope you guys enjoyed that, and I apologize again for the interruptions you notice right now. It's, as we're ending this reading, it's quiet out there, so yeah. Anyway, I love you guys. I really do, and if you go to the community tab, and underneath the community tab, I have a giveaway listed. It's a beautiful little box. I call it a Mighty Aphrodite Love Drawing Kit. It's to draw love into your life or to grow the love that's in your life stronger. It's not to be used on a particular person or for any type of manipulative love magic. But um, it's Mighty Aphrodite oil. It is crystals. There's parchment. There's candle. There's all kinds of pretty little things in there. And uh, that does have a pretty good monetary value. And I will be giving that away uh, end of the month, um, May 31st. And <clears throat> when you like it, be sure that you comment underneath it, done. Or something like that or some kind of comment so that I know because even though if you like it it doesn't show me who's liking the comment uh, but you have to write John underneath it because I won't know who to give it to all right guys I love you see you soon bye bye